Hello people of here, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Today I've been breaking down Rapture's Delight. This isn't the first uh, professor for Breaking Dad, but it's one of my favorites. And uh, I mean, I don't know Breaking Dad, it was also created by Seth MacFarlane, and it felt like Fan Guy's left wing cousin. Um, it's a bit funnier, the Family Guy, I don't have any like, uh, controversial episodes on the characters, they're probably better than in Family Guy, but, hmm. Anyway, on with the review. In this, uh, Stan is just in the uh, front saying, like, see, uh, isn't that as important to him as his religion? And he just said, uh, tell Roger about the religion while well, Roger is just uh, slagging or just uh, mocking Christianity. Um, after uh, Francine and uh, Stan get into the church, there's no spaces. So Francine decides they could to do something in the janitor's closet. Yeah, well, like. I don't know, it seems like that was a bad idea. Because a lot of people get raptured since the uh, coming of the Antichrist is upon them. And I'm rather just shocked that the, the thing he was making fun of is actually real. And he actually learned about the, rap the rapture and Armageddon with uh, a puppet show. I don't know. And Stan just uh, shocked that he isn't being raptured. And after they hear that uh, Jesus is gonna be at some sort of stadium, Stan is thinking they can convince him to bring him up to heaven if he sees him. And he blames Francine. Um, Francine just breaks things off with Stan. And they got the guy. Stan thought it was Jesus, well, it wasn't, and the real Jesus actually gets together with Francine, and then there's a the same year uh, time skip, with the world turned to hell, Stan's a bounty hunter and Jesus needs help to rescue Francine and everything just looks badass, and they need help with Rogers and Sigmaring agree with the uh, route to take and he has a spaceship yeah and turns out to be fueled by the uh, golden jewel crusted poop that I've been seeing a few episodes and they crash into the UN building which is uh, the base of the Antichrist and when Roger asks can, can I use his uh, rapture him as well he said that he said he can't when he probably needs Roger's help to recreate uh, the world when uh, everything's done. And he has Roger and his declines. And uh, when Sam and Jesus get out of the elevator, Sam thinks he killed Death of Christ since it looks like a creepy child, but there's no, this is a kid from a private school that, that plays there. Yeah. And they actually friend scene and they get trapped in a glass uh, case by the Antichrist. And it's a total letdown. It's not like a, a, a woman and just has bad jokes and just says the opposite things that, that Jesus said or said or whatever. Um, yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. Anyway, then the Christ tries to shoot Jesus, but Stan gets in the middle of it. Uh, Stan reveals that he still loves Francine and that he kept their, their wedding rings. Um, the Jesus gets uh, Francine out of the play out of the place they're in since uh, Stan made this bomb that'll take the whole place to Kingdom Come. Um, then Stan just dies but then uh it's an angel in his uh, personal 
heaven which is go back in time and just fix everything we turn in. Um yeah that's a day that's machina, but whatever. This is a a good episode everything looking badass and strong and uh Stan Vernon not to uh, prioritize his uh uh, religion over his wife. Oh, also uh, the angel this that was a uh, son that uh, Stan and his kids to their personal heaven was obviously also in another current episode. I think it's a bit funnier in that than this, but eh, you know. Um, also, also, um, yeah, all around go cool, probably not the best or anything, but yeah, still a great one. And until next time, I'll see you, see you guys later.